Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a quick uh, meal today. Um, and what I'm doing is, uh, the reason why I'm doing it in the crock pot is because for one, I still have to film me cleaning the front room um, today, so I wanna get that done. And uh, got a crazy busy day. So I wanna get this done before Jax gets home from school. That way it's in the crock pot and I can kind of start and then get him in, you know, have him relax and everything else. So what I am making is, I have no idea, I, it's just something I'm throwing together. All right, I'm gonna grab Mike's favorites. If I have the right one. Yep, slow cooker liners. Uh, somebody asked me in the comments about the liners. Um, I'm going to explain about them soon when I get it out. Okay. Um, there's crock pot liners for your crock pot. Uh, sometimes it's easy to clean up. Most of the time it is. Um, what they do is they protect the crock pot um, like to keep it clean. These do not melt inside the crock pot. I've used these throughout multiple of my videos and stuff like that. Um, why can I get it open? I There's only one size, I believe. My crock pot is kind of big. This looks kind of small to me. This is from the dollar store, so you get what you pay for. Um, because I've had bigger crock pots, but I do have a smaller one that I use around uh, Christmas time or around um like holidays and parties that we would be having if i need that crock pot for some my mom's old crock pot it's an old crock pot but damn thing still works and to the crock pot that she has it's all scraped up it's like scratches all in it the inside of it is like nasty so i, I have to use these to protect my family and myself <coughs> so these crock pots are i mean these crock pot, these crock pot liners are good they don't burn they don't melt they don't you don't taste plastic you don't do it it's kind of like these things if you think about it these oven bags it's kind of like when you cook in these but it's in your crock pot that's what's kind of like it's like. I don't know if you guys have ever cooked in these but once again you put this in your oven in like a, a, a cookie sheet you don't taste the plastic it doesn't melt. I mean, these are good for um, inside the oven. They they can handle the high heat that we cook in. So, so yeah, I got a lot of oven bags. I have to, I have to get rid of them because I thought they were crock pot bags. I didn't even think there was one video I made that I actually put a crock pot uh, oven bag in the crock pot. Yeah, it was an easy cleanup, but it was just kind of like what on earth. All right, so let's get on with this. So I have some pepper steak. Let me get a glove. I'm getting a glove so I can take out the meat. I'm not searing this. I'm just going to throw it in and season it all up. As you guys see, I have all my seasonings. Yeah, it looks like a lot, but it's a, more like herbs and stuff like that. Because I can't really put a lot in here. Um, a lot because i got to have... Joel eat that, be able to eat this. So, this thing is move. Yeah, these are like pork chops. I get kind of confused. So I'm just gonna line them in here. That's all I'm gonna do. And then I'll bring you closer after I take my glove off. And um, so you can see what, I put, what it looks like on the inside. All right, I just gotta get rid of this meat because these cats are coming after me for the blood and stuff. Give me a second. That ah, crap. Of course, I take off my lid and it falls. Alright, I'm gonna bring you guys closer now. There we go. Alright. Damn it. There we go. Um, zoom in just a little bit. There you go. 
Okay. So now, um, as you see, I put them in here. Now I'm going to add uh, this one put to the side. But what I'm going to add into this first, damn, first one to season it. Um, putting a little bit of roasted garlic in here because I need some type of garlic. Yeah, I'm trying to get this too. So I'm going to put a lot. That's good enough. Um, I'm not going to flip these over or nothing. So, all right, so we got Italian seasoning. Okay, I kind of see, it's a lot easier just shaking it. You know how they're on the Facebook Reels? Why do you guys look crooked? I don't understand why this looks crooked. There you go. Uh, the Facebook Reels, if you twist this, it comes out faster. I tried it, it's, it's a pain. Um, Throw a little bit of onion powder in there. Okay. So we got some organo leaves. Still trying to get, now these I will have to repurchase, these type of things, because I use this in my spaghetti and stuff like that. I got parsley. Like this stuff, you know, Italian seasoning. Uh, we got basil. And then yes, what the fuck Mike's favorite? Okay. And we're going to throw some Daniel's seasoning in there. Okay. Now all that's done. Now I'm going to add in mushrooms. Shoot, I have no nails for this. Dump out the juice. So what you gotta do is just jump out the jump out the juice. Jesus Lord. Dump out the juice. Look at this cat. She likes to suck up everything. Look, she's in the sink sucking up the juice. Okay. So these are mushrooms. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I have beef broth. You can use any type of broth. But I'm also using noodles, and no, I will not put noodles inside of this pot, this thing, while it's cooking, because I don't think I can't. I don't think that's right. I mean, uh, everybody else might do it, not me. What I think I might do is do different flavors. Hold on one second. I'm gonna go over here and grab out of my refrigerator. Um, where is it? Is my chicken broth. Is there anything in here I could throw in? Just trying to think what else I could throw in. Here, I know I could throw in there a little bit. Okay. So I got this. Oops. Get out of there. I'm going to throw in there a little bit of wash your sister sauce. This I'm just winging, so hopefully it comes out good. The oh, fuck? Okay, that's about it. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. Um, what I do want to do, uh, put it in this first. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of, uh, no wait. Take this. I'm gonna open this up first. See, having nails is a hell of a lot better. This is cream of celery. Give it a little bit different flavor. It smells good already. 
Take a little back off. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a cup of the uh, whatever the heck amount of this is in here. Okay, that's like one. So I'm gonna stir it up because I can't fit another uh, amount. No, I can't. I'm gonna kick you in your butt. Some of you are licking a spoon. That's crazy. So I'm stirring this up a little bit. I'm gonna dump it in, and I'll probably do because this is two cups. So I'll probably do maybe like one cup, or I'll see what the liquid looks like. Because I gotta add another ingredient. Okay, dumping this in. This, I'm, I keep telling you guys, I'm just eyeballing this because I'm going to add noodles into it too, so I'm going to need more liquid with it. Oh, I need this. Okay, so the other ingredient I'm going to add into it is vegetables. Uh, I found a bag of mixed vegetables in my freezer. So let me get this open. That's good enough. I can put this back in the freezer, save that for another recipe or a meal. Now what I want to do is add a little bit of beef broth. Or what I might do is cook the pasta in the beef broth. That's not a bad idea. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like this. I just think, just can go back over here. All right. Let me turn you to the crock pot. Which that's it right there. Now this now like I told you guys, remember this will not burn, it will not melt, um, you won't taste plastic. This is for like cooking temperatures. This can handle cooking temperatures. Now if you sit here and put a plastic bag in there, that's a totally different story. That does not handle temperatures like these type of bags can. Oh shit. Take my bracelets off, put them back on. Um, there we go, let's see. Now what I'm also gonna add is a little bit of pepper. Oh, yeah, see. Okay. And just a little bit of salt because that, I don't want to add a lot of salt. If I can get it open. I don't want to add a lot because of the fact that, um, you know, the cream and celery is already salty. The chicken broth is already salty. Unless I got low sodium. What did I get here? Nope. 100% natural. Rich flavor since 1945. Damn. This shit's... This thing... This stuff came out when my dad was born. Crazy, huh? Alright, I'm gonna stir this up just a little bit. Just to keep kind of flavors going. I know this shit's like frozen. Alright. Now I'm going to cook this on high because I want it done today. Okay. Now we're going to close it up and I will be back for the next thing. Now see how tightly it holds? And two, when you're done, you could, it's easy to transfer also into a container that we put the crock pot away. And it's your option if you want to clean this after you take the bag out. That's your option. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, that's one other thing, but, uh, trust me, this is a very good idea. It's easy cleanup. I like easy cleanup instead of me always, because I do, I do dishes. I'm the only one in this house that does dishes. So I'm always 
washing. You know, I'm always washing stuff. So if, if I can find anything to uh, do anything with a less dish, I'm right on it. So we'll be back for when this is ready. Well, when I do the noodles and put them in. Instead of noodles, he wants me to cut up potatoes and throw them in. So I have to peel them. Uh, I wish I'm not sure you guys. Just peel them, cut them, and I'll throw them in. I'll show you when I throw them in. Okay, I'm going to mix that around and see if that's enough. I might have to add more liquid, though. I'm going to add a little bit more liquid, which is going to be beef broth. If I can get it open. Where's that little knife that I had? Okay, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna grab some cornstarch. What is it? Right here. I'm gonna put a little bit like in a cup. Just a little bit. I do a little bit. Like I eyeball this stuff. Everybody's telling me you should put like maybe a half a cup and all this other bullshit. No. We do it Carla's way. It always works. Okay, I don't have a regular spoon. So I have this little itty bitty one. Make sure all the lumps are out and then pour it right in. I got like three more potatoes over here to cut up, but I think this might be enough though. I can get a grip on these. If you think about it, I think these might be enough. Okay. I'm gonna start to probably cut up maybe one more. Just basically do it a bite size. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. Because now the potatoes are in there. Okay, this is good enough. Okay, that's good enough. These potatoes I'll cut up and save. Sometimes I like eating raw potatoes with onions. I've been on a kick like that lately. I've always been on a kick like that. Don't ask me why. Put that there. these guys back in the liquid. Alright, now I'm going to put the lid back on and let these guys cook. Hopefully they'll thicken up. And then that'll be the end of the video. Not now, but after this is done. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is done. Oh yeah, see how that's falling apart. That's done. So focus, there we go. This is done. So I'm going to shut this off. This is good. The gravy didn't get thick enough. I should probably add it more to it. But this is good. It smells good, so I'm hungry. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.